Close Gallatin resident Stephen Tucker talks about his world record deer, which he killed on November 7, 2016. Nashville, the difference in the deer Stephen Tucker harvested a year ago Tuesday and the one he killed on Sunday was great, but the euphoria after making each kill was the same, and that's why Tucker breathed a sigh of relief Sunday. The eight-point buck he killed with him as loader Sunday afternoon in Sumner County, Tennessee, was the first deer he has killed since taking a 47-point buck on November 7, 2016, also in Sumner County, which turned out to be the world record. Tucker, 28, was concerned that killing his next deer after the world record would be an emotional letdown. But that was not the case. I was just as excited as the other time, Tucker said. I've been in him all year. It just finally came together Sunday afternoon, and when it all comes together like that, there's nothing like it. It's awesome. More Hunter Bags 36-point freak on nature deer with his crossbow more disease outbreak kills hundreds of Tennessee deer just before hunting season Tucker had hunted on the opening day of muzzleloader season Saturday morning and afternoon and Sunday morning before finally taking a shot at the buck Sunday afternoon, which he killed from 80 yards away. The antlers on the world record deer measured 312 38 inches. That eclipsed the previous world record of a non-typical rack of 307 58 inches killed by a hunter in Albia, Iowa, in 2003. The antlers on the deer Tucker killed Sunday measured 148 28 inches. But the deer Tucker killed Sunday field dressed at 200 pounds, which was actually 50 pounds heavier than the world record deer. Stephen Tucker, who killed the world record deer in Sumner County on November 7, 2016, harvested his first deer since then on Sunday. Tucker shot this eight-point buck also in Sumner County from 80 yards away. Photo submitted there was still almost two months left in the season last year after Tucker killed the world record deer, but he did not hunt again, mainly because he didn't have enough time with all the attention that was being paid to the world record. I really didn't have much time to hunt after I killed him last year from having to do media interviews and running the rack here and there, Tucker said. It took up most of my free time that I would have used for hunting, I knew the odds of me ever killing anything bigger than the deer I killed last year are slim to none, but I'm still going to hunt. Stephen Tucker has started hunting again in archery season this year, which began in September. I saw quite a few and some decent deer, he said but I just didn't have a good shot at any. Before he started hunting again, Tucker said he prepared himself mentally so that he would not experience a letdown. I knew the odds of me ever killing anything bigger than the deer I killed last year are slim to none, but I'm still going to hunt, Tucker said. Tucker took his nephew, Hayden Holloman, hunting during the statewide young sportsman hunt on October 28th and Holloman harvested a deer. Tucker displayed the record antlers at 14 Outdoors Expo shows earlier this year in Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, Kentucky and Illinois. He plans to take them to more shows in 2018. Close Stephen Tucker from Gallatin, 28, holds the world record for shooting the largest deer video by Michael Schwabusa. Today Network Tennessee he keeps the antlers, which are estimated to be worth more than $100,000, in a bank vault when they are not on display. The shows are fun, and I like taking the rack to them, he said. Un, like meeting the kids the most and seeing the reactions. They always have a lot of questions. I wasn't used to traveling much, but I've traveled quite a bit for these shows this year. Tucker appeared with a world record deer on the cover of North American Whitetail magazine in January. Tucker and his family have consumed most of the meat that came from the record deer, which was estimated to be 312 years old. He still has some left that he plans to have made into jerky. Follow Mike Organ on Twitter at MickeyOrganWriterEdder. Share this story. https2 and q.